Hello and welcome back to another After Effects video. I want to look at some 3D things today and we will start by looking at these three buttons here. We've got the local axis, world axis and view axis mode. So what I'm going to start with by doing is just do a simple rotation and we're going to just rotate this object a little bit. There we go. Now when we're in local axis mode, it's, it, the, uh, the coordinate system will be relative to the object. So if we, for instance, click on this, and then we say we're going to click this arrow, we're going to change the x value, you'll see what happens is that all the position values are changing. And that's because it's relative to the object. So if we wanted to avoid that, though, we could click on the world axis mo uh, mode, which is relative to the composition. So you can see now the line's a little bit straight. And now when we click it, you'll see only the x position is changing, which is what you might expect. Uh, and finally, here we have the uh, the view axis mode. So this just constrains to your actual view. So you can see I can only move uh, in X and Y here. But if I was in a different um, view, say I was in the so the left view. So what is that? That is the left. That is the X axis. So only be able to move in Y and Z, right? So we try doing that. So I can move in Y. Can move in Z here. So that's that constrains it to two axes as opposed to just the one. You see it, and you can see it more clearly here, right? We're going to go to three seconds now, and we can also do a pointer there, press N to cut the workspace. Um, so if you want to mess around with things, you have to use these dolly, pan, or orbit. Now, dolly and pan are only in orthographic view, so that means the six sides of a cube, top, left, right, and all that. So if we wanted to do this, we could do something like this. We could say zoom it in, or you could just do a pan, right? You could just put it in the middle like that. Um, you could actually see by moving it around here where, you get, where you're going to get in terms of this view, right? So if we wanted to maybe have it just off here, Okay, so we could do as well, and remember you can do this in like, um, okay, so what we can do now then is we can select the object, and you'll notice that we do have our Bezier handle, so we could do something like this, here's our Bezier handle, maybe something like that. So that might give a slightly better animation, right? Let's see what happens if we change some of these busy handles as well. Let's have a look at that. Probably a little bit slow actually now I think about it. Let's try moving it in here. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look at this. So to give a uh, and more scale, we could also try changing the Z value at the end here. So minus a thousand is right in the face, right? You can see it is getting smaller, but not really enough. So let's go all the way, because remember where the Z axis is, right? If your eyes are minus a thousand and the screen is zero, you want it to be way further than that. So say we make it like 3000. And you see it's much smaller now. That's good in that. Uh, and again, if we wanted to see this, not so easy to see it, but obviously this, this tool is pretty useful for that. Um, you could then position this where you want it. And then you go to your position and then you'll be able to start adjusting 
the uh, Bezier there. And it's interesting, right? At this point, you could really start to see the scale. Um, and this is kind of where it's useful, I guess, is that you're using very different scales uh, to see what would happen. So if you wanted like a smoother curve in there, let's actually see what happens if we do that. That's definitely smoother, right? I wonder what happens if we uh, copy this keyframe now, actually. Let's get a little bit further. Copy this one, put it in here. Takes a different route back, right? But it's just important to realize that if we look at the actual uh, scale of the object, it is not changing at all. And that's something which is kind of like key to realize that, you're, that the size of the object is not changing, even though obviously it looks like it is. It's just moving a certain distance away from the camera. 